good morning to you all as we are going to start our new session through electronic media so i just want from you all that go through the syllabus of class 10th the portion we need to complete is networking html cyber ethics python programming so today in this uh, video i am going to cover html most of the questions comes from html and uh, python programming language in your cbse board exam so let's start the topic html so as the name is html html means hypertext markup language the full form of html is hypertext markup language so in class 8 you already have studied about html right so in 10th again we are going to study that html only but in a elaborated way so uh, when we talk about html so what this html is actually and why we are going to uh, study html it is a markup language not a programming language there is a difference between markup language and programming language what markup language is i will tell you about but first we'll see the history of html tim berners lee developed html in the year 1989 to 91 means in the year 80s he developed html now this Tim, Tim Berners-Lee was a physicist. He was working in CERN, C-E-R in CERN. CERN is European Organization of Nuclear Research. So he was working in CERN and then he developed this HTML. And his contribution is not only HTML but internet whole and sole internet he only developed. Not alone but by the help of one team, group of people. Right. And Mr. Robert Kelly was one of them. Internet communication was limited to only plain text before the invention of HTML, before development of HTML. But after HTML, we started using multimedia contents also. We started embedding multimedia contents also in HTML, means web page, web pages. So that is the contribution of HTML. In this HTML language, we mark up the contents and after marking up only, after marking up the contents only, we can be able to show it to the world, show it to others, right? How we mark up the contents? We mark up the contents with the help of a tag, right? So whatever code we write in HTML that is known as a tag and HTML, can, HTML having default predefined tags. So in HTML, we write the coding in the form of tag and within tags, what is tag? The tag are the specific keywords code which we write in HTML and which contain start and end angular brackets. That is a tag. Within the tag, we write the specific keywords of HTML markup language. And we put the contents in between the tag. We put the contents in between the tag. So likewise, we uh, mark up the contents. Suppose I am writing India. Now, India is one content. To, to show India word on the browser, we mark India with some element of HTML. That is why it is known as markup language. That is why it is known as markup language. Now, difference between markup language and programming language. What is the difference between markup language and programming language? Ma through markup language, we can design a page. But through programming language, we can develop an application through which we can perform our task. MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint, all these are applications and others also, many applications, games also, whatever you play now, that is also one type of application and those applications we develop with the help of programming language. But as far as markup language is concerned, through markup language, we can um, design and decorate a web page. Here, when we're talking about page, so there are two types of pages in a browser. One is static page and one is dynamic page. Static page is a static page is a page which we design by the help of HTML code. 
there will be only a te only text some background color uh, and hyperlink video audio all these kind of components will be there that is static page. and how that will convert it into dynamic page that static page only will convert into dynamic page if we use some specific script if we use some specific script into our static page and make it interactive then it will become dynamic page such as online reservation railway reservation websites that is uh, an example of uh, dynamic page and then weather forecasting information that is also a dynamic content that is also a dynamic content which is changing time to time and static is static pages which contain only components of html like text audio video images hyperlink and dynamic which contain all these components along with it it interacts with the user it interacts with the user if you will ask some questions if you are your is if you ask your query then it will give you answer response that is dynamic page and dynamic static contents are those contents which are static which are not going to change in a page which remain as it is like youtube videos which you uh, watch visit time to time wo video ek baar movie ka dal gaya to it will remain over there right and frequently you can uh, visit and see the check the that clip unless until it will it is not deleted and the dynamic contents is that through which you can interact like weather forecasting aaj ka temperature bhai kitna hai batao so it will show you the temperature of today's date then uh, you can also uh, banking online transactions that is also an example of dynamic page if you are visiting some uh, web page for banking transaction like sbi ka page or bob ka page any bank ka page and there you are doing online transaction that is that is an example of dynamic page and dynamic contents in next lesson we will start with basic terms used in html means tags elements attributes and all thank you and stay safe